you're watching Cybernet with me, Steve Truitt. Prepare for the return of a Tomb Raider. Become a superstar sim, try some crazy bike tricks, and fight for a frozen throne. It's the all-star Cybernet. Has it really been four years since we last saw Lara Croft put her life on the line for a priceless artifact? How time flies. We welcome you to this week's show with the return of the world's ultimate cyber babe, who's back with a vengeance in the long-awaited Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness for the PC and PlayStation 2. Because of numerous postponements, there's been quite a bit of controversy surrounding the status of this title. Were these delays caused by development problems, or did Eidos simply decide to push back the shipping date to coincide with the release of the second Tomb Raider film, Cradle of Life? Sensing that the series needed an overhaul, the development team at Core Design has wisely given Lara a new image and set her loose on a more multi-dimensional cinematic mission. Rather than simply raid tombs, she's now a fugitive from the law, having been accused of murdering her mentor. So not only must she now clear her name, she must also solve the mystery of five paintings which have strange connections to the black arts. The gameplay consists of the same elements that initially propelled the series to fame back in 1996. Exploration, solving 3D puzzles, and beating up on the bad guys. And for those who remain entranced by Lara's extraordinary physicality, we're happy to report she looks better than ever thanks to a polygon count ten times greater than previous appearances. Her range of movements have also been greatly enhanced. She can now perform hand-to-hand -hand combat and use stealth mode to sneak around. The intriguing story takes you to locations like Paris and Prague, which are represented as huge 3D worlds filled with rich textures and authentic architecture. While we applaud the change of direction and the new emphasis on Laura's darker side, the overall experience left us underwhelmed. Most glaring is that she still moves in the same clunky manner that marred her last couple of adventures. Plus, the pacing of the game is excruciatingly slow and the puzzles lacked creativity. Worst of all, the enemy AI is poor, making all the fight scenes rather unchallenging. Angel of Darkness is clearly superior to her previous efforts and would have been appreciated three years ago, but by today's standards, it falls disappointingly short. Lara Croft is a brilliant character with an excellent pedigree who clearly deserves a more polished creative effort. At least we still have her movie sequel to look forward to. While he may be big, mean, and green, frankly, there's only so much this behemoth can take. Thankfully, Cybernet's here because sometimes even the Hulk needs some help on the Xbox. Grab a pen and jot down this cheat. At the code input screen, enter in G M M S K I and N. Feel different? You should, because you've just been given a healthy dose of gamma radiation. Now, not only is the Hulk incredible, he's also invulnerable. That's right, neither tanks, nor rockets, nor mutated dogs can keep this giant down. Now, if only there was a code to change those purple pants. Now it's time for a look at two long-running franchises making their way onto the Game Boy Advance. The first, Castlevania, Area of Sorrow, takes this famous period thriller and fast-forwards it into the future. In this title, players control an all-new character, Soma Cruz, who one day wakes up to find himself in the castle of everyone's favorite villain, Count Dracula. Aria of Sorrow contains a number of new features to the series, including a larger weapons menu and a revamped combat system that lets you capture the souls of your enemies in order to learn new attacks. In fact, there are over 100 new abilities to perform. 
this is a welcome addition to the series, which keeps things from getting too repetitive, a problem that often plagues old-fashioned side-scrollers. Longtime fans of the series will be pleased to learn that Aria of Sorrow was developed and directed by Koji Igarashi with character designs by Ayami Kojima. Both worked on the highly successful PS1 Castlevania installment, Symphony of the Night. While Aria of Sorrow will please those who simply can't get enough Castlevania, it does suffer from some minor problems. For one thing, it's easily beatable, and we wish more effort was put into the background graphics. But the new storyline and gameplay easily make this a castle worth visiting. If something's not broke, why fix it? This seems to be the current philosophy as a slew of games made popular on older consoles are being shrunk down to size for the Game Boy Advance. The latest is made up of not just one, but three huge titles. This is the Fantasy Star Collection. Each game is presented in its entirety with their original graphics that span from the 8-bit Sega Master System to the Sega Genesis. Players new to the Fantasy Star series will be able to see how the series evolved from a 3D dungeon crawler in the first game to a more traditional overhead approach in the second to a generation-spanning epic in the third. And speaking of generations, a whole new one will be able to enjoy this fantastic series thanks to the GBA. Everything old is new again.